Hey everybody, Reverend David Essel here, All Faith Minister, looking forward to bringing you messages on a regular basis that hopefully will make a difference in your life if we use the messages that we're given, if we're using all of the messages that come from friends and family and church and synagogue and temple, we can really see a shift in our life. I'm serious. We could see a shift very, very quickly. Hey, today I'm going to talk about, our sermon is going to be about disagreeing and being okay with not being on the same path with people. You know, this is such a challenge, isn't it? It's like when we have great faith or a great belief or great intelligence, we have a great intellect and on some certain path and we know we're right. I don't know about you, but oftentimes we have a tendency to not just say, well, you know, I respect your point and uh, I just disagree with you, but we want to fight it. We want to battle it. And today we're going to talk about doing just the opposite. In other words, instead of struggling with people that do not have the same belief as we do, we're going to move through that. We're going to move past it. We're going to start to practice, and you'll be given chances in your life all the time. You know, We're going to start to practice of allowing people to have different paths and being okay with it. You know, One of, one of the, um, the reasons that I'm in this whole aspect of ministry is this very topic. I really hope that we can come from um, a separation of faith, you know, all over the world, a separation of faith is that I'm right and you're wrong, into a unification of faith, you know, a unification, a, um, a really understanding that the bottom line is loving and, and, and having compassion and understanding for other people. You know, we've had so many great teachers. Jesus Christ probably is one of the greatest ones, right? And I've got this incredible quote from him that um, I'm going to share, but about, you know, not judging. And, and when we get into this whole battle with, I'm right, you're wrong, it's all about judgment. It's heavy judgment. Like, you know, you're not going to achieve this in life or the afterlife because you don't believe what I believe. That's just all about judgment. And from everything that I can see and everything that I've been taught and, and all my mentors in the world of religion and spirituality, that's not what we're here for. The, the name of the song, the name of the song is um, We Just Disagree. And it's by Dave Mason. Check it out. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. And, and in the song, he's talking about reconnecting with someone um, and it, a lost love and reconnecting and saying, you know, we've grown up differently. But I'm going to read one of the, of, the, of the stanzas in it. And it says, um, so let's leave it alone because we can't see eye to eye. There ain't no good guys. There ain't no bad guys. There's only you and me and we just disagree. Isn't that powerful? Like if we can, from, from the religious perspective, from the spiritual path perspective, if we could walk this talk, ladies and gentlemen, you know, like there ain't no good guy, there ain't no bad guy, it's only you and me and we just disagree. Like, I, you know, I respect your path of Buddhism or Hinduism or the Islamic path or the Christian path, or I respect it. It, it, it may not be for me, but I respect it, you know, so we don't have to agree that that's the only way to God. We could just say, wow, if you're happy on that path, if you're really doing good work on that path, if you feel content on that path, rock and roll. I'm going to stay on mine, but good luck. You know, isn't that a powerful place to go? It's a beautiful place to go. Do you know, in the um, for 10 years, I hosted a nationally syndicated radio talk show, and we were in over 250 cities around the United States. It was phenomenal. We covered all kinds of topics. It was um, uh, America's Positive Radio Talk Show was our, our subtitle. David Essel Alive was the name of the show. And we, we talked with athletes and actors. And we talked about health and relationships and business and all kinds of great stuff. And one of the probably most popular topics on the show was spirituality. And we would have Deepak Chopra on and Wayne Dyer. And then we'd have monks and nuns and rabbis um, Priests, I mean, we'd have people from every walk and faith that you can imagine. And I just loved it. I just absolutely loved the show, loved the people that I was interviewing. And I learned so much about religion and spirituality. And, you know, it's one of the things that drove me into the path to become a minister. It's one of the things that drove me to, to preach. You know, it's one of the things that, that actually when I saw all this great information, I said, I want to be a part of that. I want to do even more than this radio show. I want to, I want to get in with people um, and speak about God and God's love for us all. So I, I was really blessed. And do you know during that time that I received death threats? I received letters, you know, hoping that I just burn in hell. I, I received all of this incredible negativity from religious individuals and religious groups. 
or people that claimed they were religious individuals. And I remember at first it really hurt me. You know, it really hurt me, and, and, and I, I took it personally. Of course, anyone would. You know, you, we're gonna we're gonna kill you. <laughs> you know, yeah, you take that kind of stuff personally. <laughs> And it was unbelievable. You know, instead of just going, wow. And you, the whole point of this, of this discontent with me was the fact that I was interviewing people from different faith. So these religious groups were coming after me saying, you shouldn't ever interview anyone that other than our faith. And if they're not of our faith, then they shouldn't be on your radio show. I mean, really strong, powerful attitudes that even were saying, you know, we just can't wait for you to be b burning in hell. And we hope you die soon. And we will help that happen. I mean, there were threats. There were absolute threats. And that was so sad. Listen to this again. So let's leave it alone because we can't see eye to eye. There ain't no good guys. There ain't no bad guys. There's only you and me and we just disagree. If we take this attitude, we'll be walking on the path of God. If we can take this attitude, we'll be doing God's work. I promise you that. I really believe that with my heart and soul. I'm going to read something out of John in the Bible, New Testament. And this is Jesus speaking. Quote from John. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. Isn't that amazing? No, this is Christ speaking. This is so incredible. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. I, I, I just love that quote. It's so cool. So let's do this. When, when we're looking and talking to our wife or, or the person at work or a best friend or whatever it might be, you know, and we get into our husband or boyfriend or girlfriend, you know the, the deal, <laughs> and we get into an argument and we disagree and we have very strong opinions on different sides. Let's try to start walking this talk. Let's, start a, let's really, really try to respect and honor the fact that we just disagree. And that's it. Isn't that cool? I hope you feel the same way I do. Listen, if I can help you in any way whatsoever, as a traveling minister filling in for your congregation, if, if, if you're without a minister for a while, talk, check out talkdavid.com. Or if I can help you one-on-one -on, -one on your spiritual path, your business path, your relationships, I would love to be a part to help release that spirit, that, that incredible spirit of God that resides within you as it resides within everyone else. So it's talkdavid.com. So glad to have you with us. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye now.